What's up guys, Chris from Closet Weave here and we're back in my closet to watch episode 11 of the Apothecary Diary. So <laughs> real quick, I just got back from a graduation party for my cousin and Mau Mau would be uh, happy to be to have been in my position because normally I'm not uh, that much of a drinker. I only drink on special occasions and today um, I was asked to take uh, a shot for my cousin uh, since she graduated. I did that and then I got asked to take another one and I'm just a two shot kind of guy and I call it but then my cousin um, uh, not not the one who graduated but another cousin who was at the party had a bottle of soju he's like oh hey Chris this this tastes good try it and it was like a peach flavored one I was like oh, yeah, that doesn't taste bad so then I got he got me my own bottle and I drank like three quarters of that and shared the rest with like uh, another cousin. Um, so th this was a couple hours ago so the buzz uh, wore off but in the moment I was pretty buzzed. You can probably tell by my voice <laughs> it's kind of raspy right now. I was getting a little loud over there. Um, but yeah, it was fun times but now I'm back here in the closet watching some anime doing what I love. Uh, but yeah, Mau Mau would have loved to have tried some some of the alcohol for sure. But uh, yeah, last episode we we had like a tea party with Lady Gyokyo and Lady Lishu, and we learned about Lady Lishu. Uh, she doesn't like honey because uh, there was like some past history with Fang Ming, the head lady in waiting for Adu Aduo, and then Mau Mau was sent over there to help out with some cleaning, and then. Um, she had to she had to learn about some stuff uh, and then she she re realized she had the the bandages on her arm um, and then she had uh, <laughs> we had that scene when she was talking with uh, Jinshi about that stuff and Jinshi getting closer and closer with the honey trying to feed her some honey uh, so looks like we got to get to the bottom of what was happening over there with uh, Lady Fang Ming and I think what they were saying was there's like another lady in waiting or uh, another lady who's about to take over a concubine. So, uh, Lady, F or yeah, Fang Ming was trying to poison Lady Li Shu because she doesn't want Adu, Aduo to lose her spot. I think that's what was happening, if I remember correctly. So, I think Mao Mao was telling uh, Jin Shi about that stuff. Um, so, yeah, let's see what happens next. Let's jump into. Episode 11 of the Apothecary Diaries, reducing 2 to 1. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we learned that her dad has history of working here. He was a doctor. Yeah, she, he, he was a doctor that uh, helped with the birth of one of the Emperor's babies. Oh, expose. Color out, Mel Mel. Dang, I can't believe I forgot about that. Whoa, you better relax with that, that knife. They said luggage is packed, so they're getting kicked out. Oh, see, that's what the cleaning was for. Dang, they, they, they're getting kicked. Yup. That's my dad. That was my dad. <laughs> oh, so the babies were getting... They were, they were coming out at the same time? Oh, dang, that sucks. So he couldn't make it in time to help her baby. Mm. Oh, that's sad. Dang, Mau Mau. Broke it down. Yeah, she probably holds some, some hate towards her dad. 
それは違いますよねおあなたの言うその破り者はお城を使うのおー goodness lady fong me what you do それによって赤子を死なせることはない本当の死因はこれです honey? is that honey? 鼻の中には毒のあるものも多い知っているわ、hey, did you do this? あなたは知らなかった毒を含まないただの蜂蜜が需要にいいと与えていた Dang! So it was the honey she fed the baby Oh, dang, she had no idea. Ignorance. <laughs> that honey. And they blamed it on her dad. Who? <laughs> Yeah, that was with Lady Lee Shu. Oh, be careful, Mao Mao. Hmm? Oh, oh, oh. Dang, so they were close. And, and Fong Ming was trying to eliminate her. Yeah, she kept trying to keep her away from her. Oh, that's crazy. Damn, she was holding this secret in this whole time. Yeah, so it was her. Yeah, she was trying to poison the soup. And then they just got lucky with uh, the taste tester changing it. Oh, you better watch out with that knife. This is tense. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Mm, yeah, she, she got nothing but respect for her. Mm. That's crazy. She had to live with that. She was living with that her whole life. Mm. Mm. What a strong woman. Yeah. Dang. And she's still. Man, that's tough. She still didn't want her ladies in waiting to take the blame. Mao Mao doesn't want that to happen. Okay, what you got planned, Mao Mao? Like she heard the story, and there, there's no malice. There's no malice in the, in the actions. But that's sad. Oh, who? She was ready. She was ready to get stabbed. <laughs> I was ready for some crazy too. <laughs> that dang honey. Dangerous for babies. I never even knew that.
<laughs> Poisoning Jinshi. <laughs> Got him. Oh, here we go. And she learns. Ooh. Dang, they just took her out like that. Dang. And she still gotta she still gotta move. <laughs> See? Mama would have enjoyed some some of the stuff I drank tonight. <laughs> Dang, pouring one out for the, for the dead homies. Or pouring one out for Fong Mi. Remember having a deep talk with the, with the concubine, a duo. だったのだ。ああ、どうしよう、それに気づいていた。ああ、どうしに権威がかからぬようにと冷たい水の中に沈んだ化粧。うう。知られたくない秘密を守り、自ら公主台に上がったフォンに。ね、アドウハッサン。
the flower with the nectar, the honey, and apparently honey uh, can can uh, uh, make babies really sick, and that's what happened to uh, Lady or Concubine Aduo's baby, um, and eventually killed the baby. And then Lady Fami was trying to keep that a secret this whole time, and she was living with that pain of taking something, uh, the most precious thing from someone she she she, she finds very precious. Um, and Lady Aduo, concubine Aduo, such a strong woman, you know, we had the, we had the flashback of her saying that her ladies in waiting shouldn't take any blame, they shouldn't feel uh, responsible for what happened to the baby, but then, like, when she's alone in her room, she would cry every night, that was tough, and then, um, once everything was settled, um, concubine Aduo was sent to the to, to a different palace to open up the concubine for someone new to take over her her palace and then Lady Fong Ming uh, Mao Mao gave her um, uh, a situation or an, a kind of an out to, to not let L Lady Aduo know she poisoned the baby but then still get punished uh, for for what happened to the baby because she still got executed uh, Someone can explain it a little better to me in the comments because there was a lot going on this episode and then we had Mao Mao and uh, Aduo on the top of the wall hanging out having a deep conversation there and then the whole freaking baby swapping situation There's like a reason Jinchi looks like uh, Lady Aduo and there could have been like a swap or something when they were born and that's actually her son and now Jinshi was looking super sad when he was drunk holding on to Mao Mao and it's just making me think that he had to say goodbye to his mom basically and yeah that's sad she she a strong woman that that was a crazy situation she was put through um and then Mao Mao's dad was basically taking the w took the blame for everything that happened in that moment when the babies were born because he had to like juggle between the the two babies being born at the same time and he got punished for what happened to the to the baby that passed away um but yeah looking like we got an open spot uh for a new concubine um I can't wait to see what happens next if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one